everybody, how are you? Well, <clears throat> this is David again. And today we're going to talk about uh, one of the most important things in TOEFL and NIT and every other subject because when we talk about something, right, we talk about the main idea. Okay? So what happens is, uh, 우리가 무슨 어떤 내용을 친구한테 수달가든 뭐 하든가 뭐 해도 간단하게 얘기해서 우리는 메인 아이디어가 있는 거야. 메인 포인트가 있는 거야. 그 포인트가 없으면 우리는 이제 한국말로 얘기하면은 좀 쓸데없는 이제 쓸데없는 말 했다라잖아. 포인트가 없으니까. 그렇지만은 believe it or not 영어인가 한국말인가 어떤 언어인가 어떤 센텐스 얘기하면 포인트가 있는 거야. 근데 그 포인트 따라 어떻게 잘 잡는 게 중요한 거야. 토퍼 in reading section, we have to get the point. The point is cooked, how are they? the main idea. So, the main idea is really, really important. Okay, why is it important? Because if you have to find the main idea in the paragraph, it tells the paragraph, right, what it's going to be about and mostly about, right? Now, all of the sentences are details, right? Main idea, Hana Poko, could have a in the top main detail, yeah, supporting details, right? And sometimes you can get the main idea from what? 어때나 타이틀만 보도 어 이거 메인 아이디어다 할수 있어. 어때나 우리가 first sentence 보고 메인 아이디어다 할수 있고, last sentence 보고 많이 할수 있어. 응? 그렇지만 there are some other ways the main ideas are given. Okay, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. 오늘 그걸 이제 얘기할 거예요. 첫 번째, okay, in finding out the main idea, right? There are only five different ways a main idea is given in anything especially reading no 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 main idea is really any paragraph pass it in a tazak gear that tazak gear and as a main idea now wow they're like cool cool right but chris i'm gonna take a shoe was enough for dana but i'm gonna main idea that one of the passage the paragraph of the passage in the main point is on the way Okay. Now, 첫 번째, 우리 다 알아요. What is it? First sentence, right? And how can you spell it out? First sentence, 읽으면 main idea 나온다. That's your top of sentence, right? But 그게 하나가 아니야. 두 번째는 다 아는 거, title. Okay. Well, 첫 title 보고 딱알수 있고. 세 번째 거다 아는 거, last sentence, right? Last sentence 보면 다 알게 되는 거죠. 그렇지만은 이 마지막 두 가지는 대부분 학교에서는 안 가르칠 수 있어요. They don't really teach these two. Okay. The other one is suggested but not written. Okay. 페라나 전체 다 읽어야지 흐름을 잡아갖고 아 이거에 대해서 내용 이거구나. 그거랑 또 하나는 마지막 two sentences put together. Okay. 센텐스 하나가 아니고 두개 같이 읽어야지 메인 포인트 나와. So 그러면은 만약 그렇다 그러면은 Let's let's take a look, okay? Okay, let's let's go over the ones you already know. Okay? Let me add a couple of examples. Chapter two. Here we go. First sentence. Okay. Okay. We have Jake's family went on a camping trip. Okay. They went on a park by the ocean. Okay. They rode their bikes around the park. Okay. They cooked their food right over a fire. Oh, over a fire outside, right? They saw some deer, right? And they came home for Sunday afternoon. Okay, now, as you know, the whole thing is talking about what? Everyone? Ta, hasta boda. Okay. Hango aksan de wewe sa jitilin bona. They always think it's a subject. Subject, yes, kuge main point is okay. They think it's Jake's family. Munjina munyamanan, are they talking about Jake's family? The second after they rode their bike. Is that about the Jake's family? Yes, it is. But a little bit more detail. Check them on talking Peter Gabriel. What did they talk about? That's right. Camping trip. Okay. So what happens is, believe it or not, Tofu is an entity Jake family together. We don't care whose family. Okay. The most important thing is camping trip with you. Hapchimena. Team Top Pacific has a shipment and Jake's family trip, camping trip. Because we, so cheeky, I don't think it's a, we don't really need Jake's family. All we need is camping trip. Whose camping trip? Somebody's family. Right? But the main idea is camping trip, not the Jake's family. 
그렇잖아. 그게, 그게 메인 아이디어. 이걸 다 대부분 알아. 근데 하, 액션 제일 많이 틀리는 거는 대부분 subject가 메인 아이디어를 생각하는 거야. 네. Next, second thing. Then we're going to take a look at another word. Okay, you guys all know the title. Okay, you're like, huh. Okay, title, cool. Okay. So the title says, keeping your teeth clean. 너 이빨이 행복했으면 좋겠다. <웃음> 그 토녀기 중에 말도 안 되는 표현은, 이빨이 건강할 수 있다는 게 똑같은 행복하다는 거야. 이게 건강할 수 있다는 거야. Right? So, brush your teeth two times a day. Use floss on your teeth before you go to bed. Avoid eating things that stick to your teeth, like candy and syrup. Eat vegetables and fruits that don't cause cavities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it sounds like you're almost tensory, right? But anyways, okay? Basically, this whole thing is talking about what? If you take a look at the first sentence, that's the way you did it before, right? Brush your teeth two times every day. Is this whole thing talking about brush your teeth two times a day? No, because the next sentence is use flossing. Flossing has nothing to do with brushing your teeth. Two separate things, right? So what do you think the main idea is? Who said main idea is bungo at it? Flossing and brushing teeth is different. So, what do you think is bungo at it? Title, dear. Because the whole thing is about flossing. First sentence, the point is, you put two times a day. Two times is flossing. Three times is brushing your teeth. Four times is eating candy. Don't eat candy. Don't eat candy. Don't eat candy. Four times is eating candy. Don't eat candy. Right? 다 합치면은 뭐 같은 이빨에 이빨을 건강하게 하는 게 중요하다. Which actually this word means happy. Okay, which is 건강. Okay. Little translation would probably be what? Keep your teeth happy. 이빨 어떠냐? 행복하게 해줘라. 아 그래 아니야. Okay. It's 건강. Okay. The other one we're gonna talk about is probably you guys. Okay, you guys jump to the last sentence. Go. Oh, it's gotta be here. I can't find the first sentence. Oh, it's gonna be here. Okay, 첫 번째 못, 못, 못 찾으면 너네들 뭐야? 진짜 성질 급하다고 이거 이거는 last sentence, right? Right? But is it really that easy, right? If you look at the first sentence, right, the way we first did, it, look at your first sentence. Poppers live in the earth oceans and sometimes in bays and rivers near oceans. Poppers are mammals, okay? and their babies are born alive and get their food from their mother's body. These animals live in the water, but the most um, uh, but they must, sorry. They must come up for air. Properties are very interesting animals. Okay, so you guys go. Okay, cool. If you do it the first way, look at the. Let's say we don't know the title, so we move the first way. Properties live in, in the earth, oceans, and sometimes in bays. Okay, that means every sentence after that has to talk about what, where they live. Is it wrong? This next sentence over tells you about what, what they eat. How they eat. Next sentence after that talks about what? How they breathe. How they survive. So, if you put all that together, you can actually put your own words. You can say, Popers are very interesting animals. Popers are very interesting animals. These are characteristics of Popers. Uh, okay? No taking hard there. Chorterer don't always think you have to put down English. 한국말 써도 돼. 네가 생각하는 거야. 어? 한국말 써도 뭐야? 어? 토퍼프리들이 뭐 하는 것들 그 써도 돼. Right? 어? 특이하다 토퍼프리들이 그 써도 돼. Right? But the fact is, whatever you put down in your paper, translated into English or Korean, right? You guys can still use it because now you found the main idea. Okay? What you do with the main idea, main idea, could put that down and then I'll show you how Here we go. Next one we're going to see. This is the hardest one. Suggested but not written. Okay, so check this out. Okay, look at look up here. Hummingbirds love pink and red flowers. They guard their favorite flowers and try to keep other birds away. Okay, and they fight one another for food. Their wings make a whirring sound when the birds hover, hover over flowers sipping nectar. The tiny birds fly long distances to go to go to a warmer climate for the winter. They make their tiny nests in shrubs and small trees. Okay, so now they told you a lot of things about what this bird does, right? 
So we can't use the first word, pink and red flowers. So that everything sentence after that has to talk about what? Pink and red flowers. Okay? It doesn't. So you go, okay, that I can't be the first sentence. So what are you going to do? You jump to the last sentence, are you? They make their tiny nest and scrub. Okay? So now you're going to say, okay, they live in trees. Okay? Now, take a look. Pink and red flower, they love little trees. Those are two things you found out for the first and last sentence. So automatically you should go what? I can't find the main idea. Right? You need to go, okay? Okay, you can say hum, what hummingbirds do, right? Right? So, what is it? That's right. Same thing. Characteristic of hummingbirds. Hummingbirds, what they do, or hummingbirds are interesting birds, or hummingbirds, they have to do. Something like that in Korean, too. Okay? No one in this world ever told you that, oh, you can write in your own language notes. Okay? That's the great thing about being bilingual. Right? The fact is, is that people think, oh, one language, one language, is good. 어쨌 때는 한국말도 쉬울 때가 있어. For example, you know, in the English, they go, uh, what the five W's? Okay, it is what, when, why, where, who. Okay, these are the five W's, right? But believe it or not, there's only one word in Korea that summarizes the whole five W's. You know what it is? 그래서. Right? Pretty cool, right? Okay. It answers all five different things. Okay. Now this can't be done in English. That's why we are a little bit more descriptive, and we just go. We can't go so, right? So we have to give you the five W's. But the Korean language integrates all that. So I want you to say from now on, when you're reading a paragraph, you go, oh, 그래서, right? Guess what the answers are. To your answer, 그래서, the answer to that. When you're writing your notes, are actually your supporting details for your main idea. Okay. Okay. The next one I'm going to go over is two sentences put together. Let's read this together. Here we go. Eva wanted to surprise Cindy on her birthday. She decided to plan a picnic for her sister. She made two sandwiches and put them in a bag. Then she put some cookies in a bottle. Okay. We don't really care what she did after that. Okay. But the fact is, if you put, if you look at the first sentences. You guys automatically say, Cindy surprise uh, surprise birthday. Yes, everything is talking about a surprise birthday. But is that really all? Right. The next sentence over tells you exactly what they did. Okay. Which is what picnic. Now, if the writer actually writer got you to put the first sentence had to that. Even wanted to surprise Cindy for a birth, a picnic birthday. Then you guys go, okay, I got the whole thing. But they don't do this. So what do they do? They, well, they put this together, okay, into two sentences. Okay. 